Okay. Hi. I'm prophetic. And um, I've been like meditating for a few hours and trying to do my tarot card readings and uh, they were getting interrupted a lot. So I just figured I'd take my mind off of that by fulfilling another um, task that I had planned to do just to get my mind, just to give, just to give my mind a break, break up the monotony. Okay, so instead of doing my tarot card reading for right now, I am going to take this opportunity to, um, you know, make a video about COVID narcs and, and, uh, Hayukas and empaths and super empaths and highly sensitive people and, uh, like, you know, spiritual things like that. Here's the thing that I had, uh, come up with. When you're in a situation with a covert narcissist or just, a, just, in, just a, a toxic situation in general, depending on the, um, depending on how dangerous it can become, if I'm saying that right, well, you want to sort of like plan your exit. The reason you want to do that is because you want to have is uh, you, you want to have like no narc in, injury if you can um, help it. Like what I would advise you to do is tell them that you're on like some type of um, some type of bad thing, like you got arrested or something like that, and you got to go to prison on the weekends <laughs> or something like that. And um, and that way, even though that's not true, hopefully that's not true. But if you tell them that that will kind of like get them out of your way you know have them over there doing something else because if you withdraw all of your energy from them they're going to key they're going to sense that you are um withdrawn and then um it's going to cause an, an arc injury and then they're going to get all in their little boo-boo pants and stuff and start a smear campaign and they're just going to be really irritating and that's not healthy for you and you are the main most important <laughs> uh jewel in this whole entire dynamic um and so you've got to begin to protect yourself and make a plan to exit that situation by hook or by crook by any and every means necessary you want to get away from them and that type of dynamic and you need that space to think better and clearer and it takes it's going to take courage and um stick to itiveness <clears throat> if that's even a word but you're going to need to stick to your guns and you know follow through I'm, I guess I'm speaking to the scapegoat uh yeah the scapegoat that only has the toxic um <clears throat> people as a support system so if you have to leave to go like into like a bad woman's shelter tell the narc you're arrested or something like that you go on to one of them shelters they will help you get work and they will help you get housing and you know they will help you get yourself back together and it'll be quicker than you thought and it'll be like an accelerated healing process I think because you won't have the narc in your hair now you, you're probably gonna miss them a little bit because it's like you got to get accustomed to them not being around <clears throat> but in my in my uh, situation it was like three or four days. I mean, I started to notice the good, the, the benefits. And I hadn't even produced um, like videos or anything at that point. I just started to notice my mind was thinking about like, you know, wow, material and creatively. I was like, oh, okay. And so I went from like, I would swing back and forth from sort of like depressed and fearful and regretful back on over to uh, I want to make a video about this and want to do that and I'm gonna and I, did, I got boards to, to like draw uh, plans out on and take notes and stuff like that on and <clears throat> my vibrational frequency um, increased substantially and um, I'm really glad that I did it now I know that one thing I know for certain it wasn't always easy and even every now and again 
I have a rough patch or a rough time, I make a video, you know, um, I just do whatever it takes to take my mind off of feeling destitute and down, out, and depressed. Uh, the thing is, is that you have to take responsibility for your life and your well-being. Because from my experience and from what I, I know for certain is that um, when and if you do not, you could very well find yourself deceased. And they'll get away with it. They'll get away with it because it'll, it'll be like they, they'll, they'll gaslight you to death. You know, um, yeah. They'll gaslight you to death, set you up, try and get you committed to places like, like into like the mental health hospitals. Um, I mean, you name it, they'll do whatever it takes. And if you don't plan your exit, they, if they know like where you are, they will find a way to, to bother you. Like the first day I left, like twice, <laughs> the first time I left, I went to some strange place, right? And I get a phone call and they're like, did you steal someone? So some, like asking me if I stole somebody's um, like access card or ID or, you know, something like that and I'm like wow mm -mm. no I didn't so <clears throat> this time I figured I would do it better um I was just like listen let them think that I'm doing terrible I don't want any assistance because every time I call them to help me there's like they're just demonic or something like I didn't even like the energy of them you know coming around here so they think that or they're saying that they think that I'm like nuts or crazy or something. That's okay. They're not in my home. They don't come to my door. Um, no, I do need help sometimes. And I make a video and it takes my mind off of it. And then, you know, God blesses me with whatever it is that I might need help with. Um, and I'm very, very, very satisfied with my decision. You know, when I say focus on myself, I don't concern myself with what's going on. So the, the less I hear about, you know, what is going on with the toxic situation, the less I'm concerned about what I'm missing out on. And the energy, though slowly, it just gets put into my um, self. And I find myself to be quite the interesting person, you know, like, it kind of takes my mind off of the, the part of it all, you know. So if you don't have any support system per se, just get yourself a really a clean, well thought out um, strategy to escape, to, to you know remove yourself from the situation, and just remember that you want to that in your your escape route, you want to limit the narcissist's um, injury. Thing. And because you don't want them like, to like know where you are, and then like I don't know, like have the state troopers at your door for something like outrageous because they will do that, and um, they will do that. Yes, they will do that, and you won't expect it. I could tell you several stories, but I won't. I will just tell you that I got away, and I'm glad, and. Um, I know that somebody will benefit from knowing this because this is something that does not really get spoken about. Like we see videos about, um, you know, surviving the toxic personality, but I've really never seen a video kind of like touch on the fact that they will have you um, deceased, erased from existence and buried. They'll go cry at your funeral and, Leave your leave your your loved ones needing and wanting, and no one will know what happened. You'll have this little piece of paper that says you went crazy or something. I've seen them do it. They'll do it. They will do that. They will do it. Mm -hmm. And so, at that point in time, you really got to take matters into your own hands. Your life is your responsibility. Um.
partially like I, that's another reason why I think it's good that I am making the videos is because well one I'm just being obedient like I'm listening to my intuition that's telling me to just get up and do something but also I do not want nothing to happen to me and then they get away with it so the videos will be made and um I want them to get away with it. If they got away with enough, and um, yeah, not that. These Samir, like I'm still dealing with like the Samir campaigns, and well, I'm not dealing with them because I don't pay attention to it. I'm actually looking forward to after you know so much time goes by and after I do so many things or whatever. It's like. I'm looking forward to having new friends, you know, one day and just having a whole new associate base, like on a different timeline. And so like the folks that decided to believe them it won't matter because they're like stupid and I don't want those kind of people to like really be associated with me. I have goals and stuff like that and uh, shit, like <laughs> stuff happens. And this happened, and I know that someone needs to be encouraged to strategize. It's worth it, and it actually takes your mind from victim mentality to survivor, you know, a force <laughs> to be reckoned with. And it's like a, a, a very clean, clear, hopeful sense of clarity that, um, so far, I have been encountered hope. There's like a hope, uh, looking forward to the next day or the next minute. And the flying monkey is nowhere around me no more. Um, <laughs> and so it's really a blessing. And I did it myself. Like no one, no one did this for me but me. You know, no one's doing this for me but me. And Though slow, it's like uh, I'm actually creating myself the way that I want to be. So, I mean, as slow as it's taking, it's worth it. It's And it's enjoyable. And um, so I hope you watch this video all the way through. I'm going to elaborate on this some more, but I really was just trying to break up the monotony of my tarot card reading here. Because it just wasn't, um, you know, perhaps I should have a nap and then uh, maybe in an hour or two try it again. That's my tummy. I guess I'm hungry. I'll drink coffee and uh, chango all day now, can I? Yes, I can. Hmm. I'm glad I got the seeds. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. I'm trying to be quiet because. I have a neighbor. I don't like him listening to what I say, but if he sees these, he's gonna know. Anyway, I'm gonna go now. Cross your fingers for my readings. I really need my readings to go. So my channel is gonna consist of spiritual things, including narcissists, covert narcissists, um, cluster B personalities, empaths, um, Hayuka, super empath, supernova. I'm gonna say supernova uh, syndrome uh, or episodes. Um, I'm gonna cover a lot of stuff in between. I wanna keep it on one channel so that I have like more videos to post. And yeah, I might not be writing these things down, but I might, we'll see. So, and they might be low key and quiet because, like I said, I have neighbors and they're kind of like, I feel self conscious and I don't want them to. You understand. I know you do understand. And um, I'm going to upload this to Empath Uprising. And we're going to get this party started. You know what I'm saying? So thank you so much for being here. I am prophetic. Prophetic heirloom 1616 at gmail.com is my email address if you want to book, um, you know, like a consultation or a tarot card reading or both. Um, yeah. And do your best and you've got my prayers and support 
if you find yourself in a situation like such, um, you know, hit me up. Hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, yeah, so far. And like online. And I'm getting ready to, you know, set up a TikTok and, you know, get things in order. I'll have everything in order for you to reach me and uh, utilize my offerings by the end of September. And I'm very, very proud of myself for that. So thank you guys so much. Please like, share, and subscribe, please. I'm really, um, I'm really ready to do this. Okay, thanks. Later.